My name's Brendan McGrath. I'm an intensive care doctor and honorary professor in Manchester. I also have a role with the National Tracheostomy Safety Project, which is why we're working with Rescape to develop virtual reality tracheostomy training. We've set this up as part of a research study and we're taking our traditional face-to-face -face tracheostomy safety courses where we teach healthcare professionals the knowledge, skills and attitudes to safely care for patients with tracheostomies. And we're comparing that to the same course delivered entirely in virtual reality. We're testing whether candidates' knowledge and experience is the same before and after the face-to-face -face and the virtual reality courses. And what we're hoping to show is that we can deliver effective, cost-effective, carbon-neutral virtual reality training for healthcare professionals to look after these vulnerable patients. There's always a bit of a wow factor with new technology and people getting to grips with it. It's so good. I really enjoy that. It's just, uh, just like so amazing. You, you feel like you're there. What we've seen is within a few minutes, people understand the technology, they get immersed in it, and then we can actually focus on delivering the educational content. Uh, yeah, I've learned something, but actually, I think what having your own screen with your own personal tutor, that's really valuable. There's two different elements that we've developed within the course. There are some computer generated elements which have animated characters and avatars where um, participants can get to directly interact in the virtual world with each other and with the computer generated uh, mannequin. And that's effectively placing our candidates into the uh, ward bed space to actually manage an emergency in real time. We've got participants interacting, leading and observing these simulations, which is fantastic. We've also got some uh, filmed live content, which included actors, patients and healthcare staff. And what that does is it allows us to really get immersive and see what's happening at the bed space, uh, to hear from our patients and to see how our staff would typically manage these scenarios in real life. And that means we've got a bank of 360 degree filmed uh, resources for our candidates when they take these courses and they match perfectly to give them that immersive experience plus that practical hands-on interactive uh, roles to play. I was blown away by the stuff that Rescape had already done with the emergency simulation in virtual reality and I could immediately see the possibilities for building out a training package. What the course brings is virtual participants together and we've seen that interaction throughout the testing that we've done for this course and I think it's really interesting to see how people interact in virtual reality. It's very similar to how they would interact in a face-to-face -face simulation and it's been quite interesting to develop that uh, with Rescape and, and, and the end product we're really proud of. What I'm excited about for the future is that we've developed a platform that can deliver an effective half-day virtual tracheostomy training course. That means we can adapt this to other situations that we would normally have to have a venue, candidates, faculty, all turning up for a face-to-face course. So the possibilities for delivering meaningful, cost-effective education for healthcare staff are endless.